by large water-filled dump tanks roll over a scaled-down model of an ocean liner. Got a carousel breathing thing. Some rain in a moment. I'll also add wind, but I need all of you to cue the action. When I count to three, I need everyone to yell, "Dump it!" Okay, everyone ready? One, two, three. Dump it. shot earlier in a tank like this using the same wind and rain effects. In life, see what's how happening? Miniatures, mechanical effects, and two highly trained professionals work together to create a classic high seas adventure. Like that. Oh, see? That's what he's showing us. Recreating a full-scale naval battle in the sea could really save a film's budget. That's why we use miniatures like the ones you see here. Fire one, Captain! Great shot. Captain has survived the air attack, but unfortunately he's drifted off into enemy waters, and there are torpedoes aimed at him from every direction. Fire torpedoes. They're getting closer and closer. Our captain is a dead duck. Hey, Mike. Michael. Now, folks, this concludes the like of your back tour. And next time that you're in the movie theater or sitting in your house watching. Go hi. Wait, bye bye. Wait, bye bye. You can tell that guy has cameras and get ready to go. Hi. Go hi. Hi. All right, we're ready. Welcome to Walt Disney Studios, Oscar, Burbank, oh, California. Yeah, okay. Once again, my name is Amy. I'll be your guide today, but I'm only half the team. Your wonderful driver today, his name is Brian. Everybody say hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi. Well, what better way to start our team oh. in our studio facility? Here are the writers, directors, actors, production staff, and even the star who came to go over final details. Talk movie deals and take care of the day-to-day -day business of filmmaking before shooting begins. We have four major hot loads off to us, and currently they are being housed by the production staff of InSync. Mm -hmm. We're now entering one of these cheer left. We have talked to tour by Renee Russo and Mel Gibson in Lance Knight for his film, Passenger 57, which was shot entirely in the Orlando area. To your left is the scenic shop where carpenters create and maintain the sets we use here on our sound stages, as well as out on location. They created sets for everything from the Mickey Mouse Club to Honey, I Blew the Kids. Hey, Mike. You'll be able to yeah. see some of their work this spring in April. All the houses on our street are just facades or false fronts. And because different scripts call for different neighborhoods, all eight houses were designed to reflect a different style of American architecture. When Jim Varney was here filming Ernest Saves Christmas, the second house on your right, number 242, was used for the exterior shots of Burns House. By the way, this was the very first full-length feature to be filmed here at the Disney MGM Studios back in 1988. When production crews travel to cities and towns to shoot on location, they often have to deal with things they have little or nothing. George of the Jungle stars Brendan Fraser as George and Leslie Mann as Ursula. Hey Mike, look over there. George shares his treehouse with his faithful butler, an ape named Ace, and his dog Chef, the elephant. Watch out for that tree. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Tracy, starring Madonna and Al Pacino. Long Black Secret was custom built for Walt Disney's 100 Lives of Black Jack Savage. Little Collection of Pops in the Indiana Jones series. These military-looking vehicles at 
and that tank were all part of the action of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Factory cars with the Acme Waste Disposal logo on the door. They were Horace and Jasper's vehicles in 101 Dalmatians. So we're coming up on a series of thoughts from the Oscar winning Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That menacing machine is the Toontown Dipmobile. And those three blue sedans are three of seven that were built to show progressive stages of destruction as they were shot at and blown up. And that trolley car is really just a modified city bus. Yeah. The two futuristic looking vehicles are from last fall's science fiction adventure, Starship Troopers. Sure. Helicopter Cockman is from Blue Thunder. And from Disney's Rocketeer, we have two prop airplanes. <laughs> Better Bosslet was used by John Candy in Cool Running. The two yellow lotus are from Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. The pink Mercedes from Dolly Parton's Straight Talk. And those two large compartments are two of several that made up the interior of the USS Alabama in Crimson Tide. Well now, if you take a look across the canal, you'll get a backstage view of Residential Street. As you can see, the houses are nothing but false fronts. Notice all the architectural details, like shingles on the roof, stop just beyond camera range. Well, that's because we only build what the camera needs to see. It's an old Hollywood production trick called saving money. Well, up ahead of us is a large standing set that's been used in a number of commercials and TV specials. This is where they're filming those special effects I was telling you about earlier. Are you sure? This is cameras, persons, and small children, and please remain seated at all times. All right, stay seated. Well, this set was modeled as an actual canyon in Southern California. It took our production crew six months to build it, which is a long time for a set. But considering how long Mother Nature takes to build the real thing, that's not so bad. Show, which features the frightening creations of R.L.